In a dream on March 3rd, 2017, Muhammad Qasim saw Turkey falling down and destruction was everywhere. Immediately after this happened, Israel became very active. They increased their operation around Palestine and they also built a fort for Dajjal. And Muslims couldn't do anything either other than protest. Then Israel formed alliances with other countries and spread corruption. USA was among their supporters and helped Israel by offering their intelligence. When Russia found out about this, they immediately formed alliances with countries nearby. And Russia also became active and raced the others in conquering lands in the Middle East. It was as if they were all aiming to conquer the entire world. Then USA openly jumped in the Middle East and they met with Israel and other allies. And together, they started fighting against groups of Russia. And this caused Russia and their allies to fight back. And thus, World War III had began. And the battlefields were countries of the Middle East, due to which the worst destruction took place in the Middle East. And huge amounts of Muslims were massacred. The war became so violent and terrifying that neither were the Muslims able to fight back, nor did anyone dare to come to their help. The bloodshed slowly spread throughout countries such as Egypt, Sudan, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, UAE, and almost every part of the Middle East. The team of Israel were constantly gaining more and more allies. And even some Muslim countries also became allies with either USA or Russia. Both superpowers wanted to conquer most of the land, and whichever territories they attained, they held onto it firmly, and they continued fighting one another whilst massacring the Muslims. On the other side, Pakistan grew stronger and started expanding, but then India, who was allied with Israel, started attacking Pakistan. US, Israel, and even many other Middle Eastern countries helped India against Pakistan. They all intended to completely destroy Pakistan. So Pakistan had a very large amount of enemies. But Allah protected Pakistan with around 3,000 black fighter jets. And then the war against Pakistan began. And with the help of Allah, Pakistan came out victorious against their enemies. Pakistan conquered all of India, as well as Bangladesh and Afghanistan. And once Pakistan claimed victory over India, Indonesia and Malaysia also became allies of Pakistan. Then Pakistan jumped in the Middle East by the will of Allah, and they fought back both superpowers using the powerful black fighter jets. And Pakistan attacked in such a way that no one could stop them. After defeating both superpowers, Pakistan became a superpower and secluded themselves from the world. And Pakistan regained control of the Middle East and Arab countries. All these areas became a part of Pakistan and they started rebuilding those areas. And then the true Islam of Prophet Muhammad started establishing in all those areas. And peace finally prevailed where once the greatest war of mankind took place.